All you know, Ray Coleman, the number one salesman in the country, is here talking to you. And we got our ride and drive guys here. Yes. And we got this guy that's ready. Let's do it. All right. So uh, this is about the most fun part of the training event. Um, second only to the part where you get to leave. Uh, so uh, <laughs> this one, we're going to go out and play with the Trailhawks, and we're going to put you through each of the elements that make up trail rate. So when you get into the vehicles, we need your um, cooperation with a few things because it is pretty technical. So this is a very slow course. The idea of this is that you're crawling over elements. You know, you'll never get above five miles an hour in this. And when you get in the car, we need the driver's window down at all times because we have to be able to communicate with you. We have a few guides that are out on different elements and there will be times in this course when you can only see sky or you can only see water, they will have a better idea of what you need to do. So you know, tune in to them and listen to their, their directions. Also, of course, no smoking or eating in the car, but more than that, do not bring any drinks of any sort in the vehicle, please. No water bottles, no spit bottles, anything. Don't bring them in. It's quite frankly a hazard because we're going to put you on some crazy angles and when you get up here and you've got a spin ball between your legs, you go for the brakes and all of a sudden that thing is down in the cockpit behind the brake pedal and then the next test we do is an airbag test. So uh, let's, let's you know, help us avoid all that, just don't bring any of that stuff in and we'll be golden. We're going to do the entire course in four low and rock mode. When you get there is different than most of the four-wheel drive world. So you need to put it first into drive, then select for low, then rotate the setting down to rock mode. It's the only sequence in which you can get to rock mode. So once you're there and your belts are on, pull up to the start line and the first element is going to be traction. We're going to put you on a large ramp and the left side consists entirely of rollers. There is zero grip. And what you'll be able to see is once you get up there, you'll be able to feel all the components hunting for grip. And you'll feel the right front hook up, and you'll feel the rear hook up, and then you'll crawl up and over the ramp. On the back side, be judicious. Use the brakes. Bring it down to the asphalt nice and smoothly. Don't tear up machinery. After that, you're going to the water fording tank. We have a large pool that is 19 inches of water sitting in it. We're going to dip you down into the pool and crawl along the bottom. It's bumpy in there. There's some stones and some bags of peat moss and cell phones. Um, it turns out that it's not the greatest idea you've had to reach outside to get a really cool visual you know, uh, view driving through the pool because you not only get to, when you hit the first bump, do, do this and uh-oh, but you get to simultaneously run over your own cell phone underwater. So uh, don't be that person. <laughs> Their day seems to really <laughs> After you come out of that, now as you come out of the pool, we're going to stop you a couple of times. You'll come up, we're going to stop you, let the water drain out of the front. Come up a little farther, we'll stop you, let the water drain out of the back. We'll try and keep most of the water in our pool. Then. As you come down the back side, again, brakes smoothly down onto the asphalt. You'll come around the corner to the large berms. This, we're, you're going to bring you, uh, this is dealing with articulation, it's dealing with chassis rigidity and roll angle. We're going to bring you on the ramps and up to about a 30 degree angle. You'll drive along and then you'll drop back down slowly, back up on the other side. If you've not done this before, it's steep enough that you'll feel like you can put a hand out the window and touch the ground. It's really a cool thing. When you come off of that, you're going into maneuverability. This is a section that if you are a 4x4 person, you will understand. This is a big moment because dry asphalt, for low, we're going to ask you to steer full left and then drive through the corner. From full left, you're going full right steering, drive through another corner. This vehicle doesn't crow hop, it doesn't increase its steering radius, it simply drives around. If you are, um, little spiders and things are in here. If, if you are uh, a normal car driver, you're gonna think, oh, you know, good for you, car steers. 
but if you're a four by four person, you know what a big deal that is. The next element is clearance. We have a bunch of power poles we cut up to make a log walk. Remember, clearance is not just about the amount of space you have from the lowest unsprung weight to the asphalt. Clearance is no good without the ability to get onto or off of something without tearing bumpers on it. So, approach angle, departure angle, breakover angle, all of these are the components that make up clearance. Once you've dropped gracefully and slowly off of the log walk, then bring it back into the parking area here, park them just like you see diagonal in their spots. This is where we'll rotate drivers and do it all again. Any questions? Gentlemen, one thing I want to bring to your attention, if you have a uh, back injury, you are going to be jostled around as you go through this. If you think that it's better that you don't do this, it's, it's not a problem. You can go down the middle of the course and you can take pictures and you can stand out, that's fine. Outside of that, let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten, four. Let's go uh, two people to a car and let's go play the car. Showtime.